fishing etiquette says that you should only catch what you're going to eat. Just try and stop me. <laughs> well, you can put your elbows inside and pull out. Now we're going to score them. About an inch and a half apart, it just makes it cook evenly, and more importantly, it seasons it inside. Salt, lemon, saffron. This is where it gets really exciting, because the saffron's flavouring the salt and colouring the salt. Now, fennel and bass go brilliantly. I've been serving it for years, and it's just that really nice rustic aniseed flavour that just goes brilliantly with the bass. Open it up and place all that lemon and fennel in there. And that keeps the bass really nice and whole, so it cooks evenly and, more importantly, got that amazing flavour. Wrap it in tinfoil and just drizzle that with olive oil, and that keeps it really nice and moist. And leave yourself a little handle on the end so you're not pissing around when you're coming to turn it. The sea bass only need to cook for eight minutes on each side. I didn't realise it was going to be that hard. I mean, you've got to be physically fit. Yeah, it helps. You haven't got to be super fit, though. I know people in their 80s who still spearfish. Is it a sport now that's getting popular all the time? It's becoming a lot more popular. It's a good way of getting some fresh seafood and having fun at the same time. Can spearfishing become commercial? No, it's actually illegal to sell speared fish. It's a European regulation. It's illegal to sell fish caught with a projectile. From what I've seen, spearfishing is very efficient. Only the target fish is caught and it doesn't damage the seabed, and that has to be a good thing. Nice. Presentation's not good. But well, who the fuck <laughs> needs presentation on the beach? Huh? <laughs> <laughs>